everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wanted to create your own cash envelopes and not buy them from someone else? By the end of the video, you will know how you can create your own for free. For more Canva and budget videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that way you're notified every time I upload every Tuesday and Saturday. So okay, you're wanting to know how you can create your own cash envelopes. Well, these are some of the responses that I received from my last Canva tutorial. So now it's your turn. Let's go ahead and get into today's tutorial on how to use Canva. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start recording my screen here. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is create a Canva account. You want to sign up if you don't have a Canva account already. So after you create your Canva account, you want to go on this right-hand side where it says create a design. And we want to do the worksheet size because it is eight and a half by 11, which is your standard uh, printer paper. So we wanna use this and it just gives us this blank canvas and this is exactly what you want to start with. Now I searched and I found out what the dimensions are for a standard bill and that is 2.61 inches wide by 6.14 inches long. That's how much, how big um, a bill is. So with your cash envelope, you wanna make sure that you give enough wiggle room so that it allows for you know, space and for you to take your money in and out. My measurements that I use for my cash envelopes uh, for the middle section, and I'll go ahead and show you that in just a minute. But for the middle, we are going to size it 7.2 inches long by 3.7 inches wide. So this is how you can do this. You go over on the left-hand side, there's this elements little tab. So you're gonna go ahead and click that and it gives you different shapes and just a whole bun bunch of different options for you. So what we wanna do is we wanna look at the shapes. So you click on see all and we just want to use a standard square and you could just change this color to black. And this is where you get into sizing. So let me zoom this in a little bit more so that way you guys can see better. There we go. So you're gonna go ahead and size this down. So you see as I'm moving this square, you're gonna see the, the size that pops up. So what we wanna do is we want to size the middle, like the main section of your envelope. That's what we wanna start with first. So it's gonna be 7.2 long ways. So you see here, the numbers pop up. So we're at 6.1 right now. And we just wanna size this so that it is 7.2. So it's right there, okay? And then the width, I said that I have mine set to 3.7. Just take it to 3.7 and there we go. So this is like the main cash envelope, like the front of the cash envelope, okay? So we're just gonna start with that. Let me just zoom this out just a little bit. So now we have the front template of the front of the envelope. So let's set up the back. So we want it to be a little smaller than the front of the envelope because it has to have that little indentation for you to grab the money. Um, so we have to make the back a little smaller. So I have mine set at 7.2 by 3.4. So what I'm gonna do is just grab this, so I'm gonna select it, and then up here there's this duplicate button that you click on that. And I'm just gonna keep it in line with the first box. So you see how it has that line guide so that you know you're centered. So I want it to be there, but I have to adjust the width here. And I said that I have mine at 3.4. So 
so 3.4. So just a little bit smaller than this main one. So again, this is the back and this one right here is the front. That is all set up. So what you can do is you can select everything and group it. That way it's just one piece. So you know that you're not gonna move the bottom or the back um, and have it out of place. So now you have your main part of the envelope done, but you still have to create the little lips, right? To, to be able to seal the envelopes. So here's a way that you can do it. So still being on this shapes little section, I'm going to find, where is it? Right here. So I'm gonna select that and I'll show you, bear with me, stay with me and follow along, um, but I'm gonna show you a little trick. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create that top fold um, of this envelope. And I am gonna use this as my little guide. So yes, I know you're probably wondering why is it that I'm using this shape, but trust me on this, follow along and we'll get through this. So we're gonna make this top part be our top fold, okay? So I'm gonna change this a different color just so I can know I still have to work on this, but we're gonna do the other sides. So for the sides, you can use, where is it? Sorry, I'm trying to find the shape. Okay, right here. So you can use this shape and we're just gonna size it down. And for the sides, I do want it to be to the edge of this paper, okay? All along that edge. So I want to stretch this out so that it's touching the edge of the paper. And I'm gonna spread this out. So you just play around with it until you get it to um, how you like it. So let me try to make this bigger. All right, so that's pretty good. Let me actually, there we go, that's much better. Okay. And then I'm just gonna take this to the other side, right here. So this is just my little template. Trust me on this, it's gonna make so much sense in just a minute. So we have to still complete the envelope. So as I said, these are just our guides, the ones that are in pink. So what you can do is I'm going to search for a line, which is right up here. There's the lines and I'm gonna click that line. Change it to black and what I'm going to do is size down the lines to be on the edge of where that shape was that we used as our guide, okay? So you're just wanting to kind of like trace over it almost. And I'm gonna duplicate this, bring this over. And you want to trace around this edge. Okay, that's good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab another line. And we're just gonna trace around this. So now we have the edge and I'm going to select that shape and delete it. So now we have our little edge. And you could just straighten this a little bit more if you feel like it's off just a bit, you can adjust it. So now we're gonna do the same thing to the edge of the envelope. I'm just gonna duplicate this line and we're just gonna resize it. And how I move it, just so you know, you see this little circle with the arrows that's how you can rotate your shape. Sorry, I didn't mention that before. So 
then I go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and I'm gonna copy these two and do the same thing to the other side. And remember, these are just the folds. These are not gonna be shown. Um, so just keep that in mind. Don't stress over this part of your envelope because nobody's gonna see it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna do this other side. Okay. And now I'm gonna take this image and delete it. All right, so as you can see, we have an outline, the template um, being worked on, but we still have to make one more line to connect and keeps defaulting to like a navy blue, but all right. So now I'm gonna move this at a 90 degree angle and this is gonna be the edge of the paper. So we're gonna do it like this and I want it to be right along the edge of this paper. And I wanna just copy this Oops, I'm going to copy it and just move it over here on this side. Perfect, all right. So there you have your template. You have the outline set up. And now let me know if you've ever used Canva for creating anything, if it's for Etsy or for Instagram, let me know if you've ever used Canva. But now is the time where you want to start customizing your envelope. So how is it that you do that? What I do is I look at different backgrounds. So there's different like patterns that you can select. So let's try to find one. Let's see. So let's just let's just choose this. For this, if you want to print this out, it's going to print all of these colors like around the outside of your cash envelope template that you created. So how is it that you can make the outside white? So under elements, I'm going to search for the shapes and I'm gonna select this square and I'm gonna change the color to white. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to size this around the outside of the outline of my template. And I usually like expand it a little bit farther from the paper and I'm gonna do this all around the outside of our envelope. So I just duplicated that item and I'm gonna put up a top. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Grab a shape, change it to white. And I'm going to go around these edges. This is kind of like your rough sketch out. So now what about these edges that are still exposed? So you can still take a shape. So I just duplicated that white shape. And with this little tool where you can change the direction of an item, you're going to just move it along the edge. So let me zoom it in so that way you guys can see a little better. So you see how I just adjusted that square and I'm just putting it around the outside of the cash envelope. And I'm gonna do this to the other side as well. Move it on the angle. And I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna do the same thing to these edges. I'm gonna duplicate it, resize it, and with this little swivel tool, I'm going to just go around the edges of this. Duplicate it, go on this side, and then just angle that. I'm 
duplicate it and do it down here. And then I'm also going to duplicate one and put it right here along this edge of that, the lip of the envelope. Move it over here as well. Okay. So now one thing is we have all of these white boxes around the edge of our envelope, but I want the black lines, the black outside lines to show entirely. So what I like to do is just select the boxes that I placed around. I hold down my shift key on my keyboard. Oh dear, it's not gonna let me do it now. Hold my shift key on my keyboard and select each of those boxes around my cash envelope. Shift and click. Okay. And I'm going to position it to back. So now my outline of my cash envelope is in front. And there you have your cash envelope. So now if you want to change the background of your envelope, let's say you want to print different envelopes for each category or whatever you have, you can, now that you have this set up, you can change your background. So we're going to go ahead and just do that right now. Let's say I want to change it to this blue. So I literally place this and look at it changes my cash envelopes and it doesn't show around the outside. So you can always add text to this. So there's a text feature on Canva. Um, you can, let's just click on one of these. You could change the coloring. And you can have this be grocery or food. Let's just do food. And I'm gonna ungroup this and just delete. So let's say I want this to be my food envelope. Again, you can customize the background of your envelope however you see fit. But now you're done creating your cash envelope. So now you wanna save it. So up here, you have this little download, you know, down arrow, and it takes you to this download. You do not want to do this PDF uh, the PNG, it usually would default to PNG high quality. You do want it to show this PDF print high quality uh, multi-page document. So you do want it to have that. And you're gonna go ahead and click download. So it's just downloading. So now it's available for you right here on the Google downloads. However, one thing I do want to mention is that you don't want to print it on this page. You don't want to print it here. At least on my Mac, when I do this, it does not come out right. So what you do want to do is on your download, so where it went to, you want to print it from here. So you're going to click this and you're going to print it from this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click File and Print. And when I do that, this pops up and it automatically says print entire image. You don't want it to print just the entire image. You want it to fill entire paper. So this is going to allow the correct size um, to be printed on your paper. You've just created your own cash envelope. Now let's put that baby to use. I have created a budget essentials freebie for you so that way you can walk step by step on how to create your realistic budget. You can click the link in the description box to grab your budget essentials freebie. Once you do that, every week you will receive a freebie from me. It is tools that I have found beneficial for myself in my budgeting journey. You get 
cash envelopes, different worksheets, and other other tools that I have created along the way. So be on the lookout for that once you sign up to get the freebie. In next week's video, I will be sharing with you some tips and tricks on how you can create a design on Canva that stands out on Etsy. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!